What's 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 today on Point D Time with Terry? We got the battle of the bro melts, we got the chicken melt, and we got the burger melt right here on Review Time with Tim. Which one's gonna come out on top? Well, let's find out in today's melt review. All right, so uh, what we have here is the Sandwich Bros. We got the Burger Melt right here, okay? Look at this. We're just going to go like this. We're going to go crazy with the packaging. Anyway, Burger Melt and we're going to have also the Chicken Melt. Which one is the better of the two? So we're going to take them out right now, and we're going to have a little taste test comparison to see which one is the better buy and the better value. Whoa! All right. I was not expecting this. The, this is really tiny. All right. That is not a very big sandwich, and oh, it's, it's super light. Okay, this is the burger one. It's frozen, obviously. I am going to open it up. Uh. Smells like a frozen cheeseburger to me. And you can even see inside there, you can check out the inside of that patty just slightly. There's the piece of burger and a slice of cheese, which I can visibly see inside of here. So it says here, it says put cheese side up. So it looks like I'm going to be putting it up this way. All right, so that is the burger. Next up, we have the sandwich from the bros, the chicken melt sandwich. Patty looks good on the photo and probably very similar to the cheeseburger. Yes. Here it is in all its glory in the packaging. Again, super tiny, super small, and very light. Um, we got a slice of cheese and a, what appears to be a very thin chicken patty inside of this. Let's pop it open. Let's give a little sniff. Wow, that smells like the Tyson chicken patties you get. And I know that's probably not Tyson chicken in there, but it smells like a Tyson chicken patty. And again, per instructions, cheese side up, patty side down. And it says to wrap it in a paper towel for one minute or so in the microwave and then enjoy. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up, put it in the microwave, and we'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I microwaved them for one minute inside the paper towel. I still felt some uh, frozen spots so that I put it on for about another 30 seconds. And that seemed to have done the trick. And uh, voila. Here we have it right here. All right, so there's the two um, sandwiches. All right, so this one is the uh, chicken uh, patty right there. Ooh, that's hot. That's got, that's got some heat to it there, chicken patty. And the burger one is right here. Now, I will say this, that right away, the smell and the aroma is pretty good smells decent now as a side note these are coming in at 190 calories let me see i think the yes the chicken one is 180 and the burger one is 190 so just be mindful this right here is 190 calories okay this doesn't look like a whole lot and again this is 180 calories so check that out right there all right, so that's not a whole lot for almost 200 calories of consumption. All right, so let's bite into it. I'm going to get into this cheese one here. Ooh, that's so hot. All right, I'm going to bite in and see the taste test. The pita bread that they're using on this is nice and moist. You got to wrap it in that paper towel. The burger flavoring 
very similar to any type of burger flavoring that you would get in your uh, grocery store. A little bit of beefy, a little bit of cheesy. Burger's not greasy, but it is tender. So that's pretty good. All right. Remember, we're comparing the two today. Which one is the better to buy? Next up is the chicken sandwich. This one I have high hopes for. A little slice of chicken sandwich goodness. Looks pretty good. And we got the cheese right there. So let's uh, take a bite of that. So far, classic chicken patty taste. Got the breading, got the cheese. If I have to compare the two, on which one of these is better? Is it the burger and the cheese? Or is it the chicken patty and the cheese? I'm going to have to hit it. The chicken patty and the cheese is definitely on the top with a 7 out of 10 for taste, flavor, and texture. And for the burger and cheese, we're going to come in with a 6 out of 10 on the taste and flavor. So there you have it, folks. The chicken patty wins. The burger takes second place. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you ever buy one of these, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are. Check you all later.